بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ندر ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ آبجیکٹ براؤزر انہینسمنٹس بائی کمپیئرنگ ود این ایگزٹنگ ورژن وچ از ٹوینٹی ٹو پوائنٹ ٹو پوائنٹ فور اینڈ دس از ان آٹونومس ڈیٹا بیس ایٹ دا مومنٹ اینڈ دس از ایپیکس ڈاٹ soon it will be released for production to download and install so <coughs> let's have a uh, quick comparison today we will not be just discussing the new features we will be discussing or uh, we will be doing a comparison how it was there and now how it is going to be so on the right side if you see here uh, this is my autonomous database on which i have this oracle apex instance it is always free instance and if you see here this is the i will say current production 22.2.4 object browser right so if we see here in this uh, let's say we have these objects which we can manage through this object uh, browser and then whatever is selected over here it will show down those objects right so if i will select a package it will show me the packages and these are the packages if i will select anything else it will show those objects right if i have to create i will be clicking over here so let me select let's say function if i want to create a function let's say test function right so return data type varchar include arguments uh, preserve uh, uh, preserve case <coughs> preserve case means that let's say for example if i have entered this function uh, as uh, first is capital and then um, small so it will keep as it is but if uh, i will not then it will make them all capital okay so let us keep as it is it will automatically convert to capital and this uh, include arguments let's have one argument as well so if i say a name will be my argument default nothing i am not doing anything else next okay and here i will have to write function body and there is a return p underscore name and predefined arguments this is my argument that's it and it will create a function for me right this is the current old version i would say now let's do the same activity on left side which is the latest version and personally i feel is uh, really a uh, good version so this is my function if i will click here now see the enhancements so if i'll say let's say test let's test one function function and this is the thing i really loved include sample code see on this right side it is not there so for beginners uh, it is a bit tough sometimes like writing a package procedures and things like that but in this i will click this wow see it gave me at least a structure now i have to incorporate my own logic in this and that's i don't need to worry about this all uh, other syntaxes right so i have to define my variables i have to write my loops conditions etc and that's it so create function it will write the create function and same way if i will go to the package <coughs> this my package right see it is by default writing in the capital so, so that preserve case is no more required okay that's it so if you see here when i click this include sample code on the top it is giving me the package and that is the package specifications and down is my package body right and this way my package will be created and then you i can um, enhance my code as per my logics right okay this is the thing i really liked at least okay another change is now uh, this uh, selection which was there let me do the same on the left as well let me cancel it so 
here this selection was on the top you had to select the objects object and then you had to you can search inside but here it is uh, let's say for example if i will select delay it will say that oh, okay it's only in functions available right like this so if i will just uncheck this one uh, this is bit at the moment i will see maybe uh, enhancement needed by oracle so if you see here it was only showing function but it has uh, expanded all the objects so one way is i should collapse all one by one this colored means this is invalid object right this one so i just wanted to share this as well so if you see all are expanded ideally when i remove it should be back to the default but no and nothing to worry as well because on this side on the left the same way you can click right see expand and collapse that's it to create you can go here you can select in this uh, which is sort of dashboard or you can select any object and right click so you can click from here uh, create from here okay mm, i think this is the major these are uh, another one if you see here on the right side there is no materialized views here right okay on the left side you get now materialized views definitions as well database links so this is see materialized views were there sorry database links is here database links and here database links were not there so this is something now new so create database link let us see how it will look like database link name connect to the schema password uh, remote host or ip port and service name sid and this is it that's it amazing i mean this is really good feature because now you don't need to worry about the uh, database link and normally these will be required to you when you are having cloud application connecting to your local databases to fetch data pull data you know so things like that from autonomous to your uh, on premises application so you need uh, database uh, links as well right so this is db link in the shortcut db link okay so let me see something in sequences same way okay definition and create that's it and if i will do the same i will click sequence and here it is the creation i will click sequence okay so create it was okay now this pre preserve case is no more there because they are automatically automatically uh, making it caps capital also no not needed and all else i believe are same right number to cache that's it something is not there in, in this cache is not there otherwise it's fine here they are giving some short help here it is not there but i think uh, maybe uh, it's okay that's it right so this is what uh, they have provided uh, the view and okay let me show you the table creation this is the view creation and uh, table creation is let me do on this side as well the older version or you can say current version table and let me click this okay this is how it was and this is how it is uh, right i think most probably it's the same it's a table name semantics byte or character default so if i will select uh, character so name and uh, these are the options right uh, data types and precision primary key default expression anything else let me see to do no i think that's it 
right i think now further you can explore and uh, check the way you want to see it or use it but i believe these are really nice enhancements or features you will love to use them right thank you and allah hafiz